it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you everything from the April Penspiration and the stationary subscription boxes from Cloth and Paper. So this box is all about plants. However, if you're not a plant person, you can still use everything in the box and I can explain how. This acrylic frame is so beautiful. Remove the protective cover on all the sides and it'll be perfectly clear. So that if you have a plant card in it, you can see the plant or flower on the front and then the description on the back. And it's on the most beautiful textured paper. So the flower cards come in this nice box and the box is made out of the same paper. It's a set of 28 Lux Cards Botanica. And there sure are lots and lots of cards. So I'm sure you'll find your favorite flowers in here. When you first get the frame, it's going to come with this. So as you can tell, you can hold the frame in portrait view and also in landscape view. So it's very, very versatile. So you're probably wondering, how does this frame work? Well, it's very simple. It is magnetic. So you can see the four gold dots there and the four gold dots there, and it snaps perfectly together. I really do enjoy the landscape view with this. So take some of your favorite journal cards. This one works really well, and I thought this one did too. Don't be afraid to trim. I know a lot of my planner friends out there are afraid to trim their journal cards. Don't be afraid, just use a straight edge so that it comes out correctly. We've got a great insert pack called Plant Logging. Mine is in the CP Petite and I'll show you how it's set up. Before I get started, I have to show you the dashboards. So the first one is called Rooted and it's on a vellum and it's just beautiful and minimal, but wait till you see this one. It is an embossed leaf of a plant and it is very embossed. This is clearly one of the nicest dashboards cloth and paper has ever made. It's got heavy embossing on it and it is double-sided so that on the back you've got the deboss looks great to start off this section of plant logging. So we start off with the title and then we have a page which is plant inventory. Gives us lots of room to have information, keep track of growth, notes, issues that we may have, etc. We then have a plant care log and a care tracker. And both of these will work very well for keeping track of the different plants. And you've got multiple pages of that care tracker. And just in case you're not a plant person, look at what a beautiful tracker this is. It could be used for many things. In addition to the plant health card that we got, and of course, all of the cards in the Botanica card deck, we have the June stand-up calendar, which as you know, you can also cut and trim this if you don't want it as a stand-up calendar. I love the gray. And then a Thrive card. So here are some things that were not sneaked in the stationery box. Clear labels and the Posca paint pen. You haven't had these before, they're really great. I actually already have this exact one. Um, so with my mini HP and my half letter box, I now have a total of three. I'll have to think about that. But I will show you how to use this first, because if you're not sure how to use it, you're gonna think you have a bum pen and you don't. So uh, these paint pens are a little different than a regular gel pen. And what you need to do when you first get it is you need to shake it and you'll hear the beads in there. Um, and I'd shake it at least 10 times. Then you're gonna open it, you're going to do this. If it doesn't automatically start, and this is true if you've let it sit for a while also, I do this, obviously on a piece of test paper, <laughs> until I can see if it's writing. You may have to do that a few times when it's brand new or if it's been sitting. And when you store these pens, make sure you store it this way. Um, so that it doesn't dry out. I was wondering what these clear labels were, and there's more than one shape and size. 
So when you get them, they of course have a backing on them on both sides because they're acrylic, the other size. On a lot of these, I found getting <clears throat> getting it off on one side was easy and maybe not as easy on the other side, but then you won't have to do it again. So we have one that looks like this, which is perfect for writing the name of a plant or directions for it or whatever, and then sticking it in the pot. If you're not a plant person, and you want to use it for something else, if you're serving things at a party, you can also label something that's in a bowl, and this can go in there. And the second size is perfect for cheese. I wrote on this with the white pen, and they do reflect a lot of different light in the room as they move around, and you can see what kind of cheese I'm going to be serving later this week. Next up, we've got the Penspiration subscription box. And we've got an embossed cover instead of printed now. That's for the pens. We've got a biophilia card, the typical monthly card. And then we've got the inspiration board for the pen collection. I was really excited when I opened these pens to see all of them in a beautiful green. And I think a lot of you who've been with me for a while know that other than black, white, and gray, the only other accent color I really use is olive green. I was hoping that some of them would actually have olive green ink, but they are all black. All of these pens are 0.5. So the first one has a pull cap, and it's part of the series called Enjoy Summer. Uh, it's got a needle nose, and you can see almost all of these pens right the same because they're all 0.5. This one also in the Enjoy Summer has a really nice green clip on it. I think this one is extremely attractive. Also a needle nose. Then we have two in the Less Is More series and we've gotten other Less Is More pens in the past. So this one here has a wide body and a conical tip and I thought it was really, it would be really comfortable but the the body of it is a little wide for me. I prefer a thinner one. It's attractive with the clear and the olive green. Also in the Less Is More series, we have this one and it is solid green. It's not, you know, a frosted or clear anywhere else. And I like the fact that it is the solid color. And that is back to a needle nose also. This one doesn't appear to be part of either of those series. It doesn't have a name on it, or at least it's not a name that I'm able to uh, read. And it does have some gold accents to it. It is very thin. It is also a 0.5 and looks similar to the others, but it seems to write slightly thinner to me. So there you have it. Lots of fun stuff. My favorite thing was definitely the acrylic frame. My question for you is, what's your favorite thing in this box? I have a new code. Check that out below in the description. It's always in my Instagram links also. This will save you 10% on a new subscription box or 10% on your order at Cloth and Paper. I'm giving away five boxes of planner stuff. Obviously, there'll be Cloth and Paper in there. You'll find pens, you'll find deco, stickers, washi tape. All the details are in the email newsletter. If you're not already subscribed, Click the description below and there's a link to follow. Giveaway ends on April 25th. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time around.